Hi, this is Harish Bali. Today I am going to talk about annotations. So what to expect from this tutorial? First, what is an annotation? Second, various types of annotation. Where to put annotations? Fourth, do's and don'ts. If you already know what is an annotation and want to go straight to various types of annotation, click on annotation types on your video screen. This will take you to that part of the video where I am talking about annotation types. This is my first example on how to use annotations in your videos. Let's follow the order. First, what is annotation? Annotations help you to layer the text, hotspots, links in a video. These are tools to build user experience. Increase watch time of your videos and last but not the least, increase subscriber base. Okay, now I move to the next question. What are various types of annotations? For that, let's move to annotations and look at them one at a time. Mouse over to the top, click on the image, go to creator studio, click on video manager, select the video for which you want to edit the annotations, click on annotations, video starts playing automatically so I like to pause it. Click on add annotations. There are five types of annotations that are available. So let's start from the first. Click on speech bubble. This is helpful if you want to create pop-up speech bubbles with text. Write the text below the speech bubble that you want to show on the annotation. You can easily move this annotation around anywhere on the video screen with the mouse. You can also go and increase the font size. You can easily change the font color. I am choosing white with a black background. That's how you can easily do it. You can also go and increase the size of this box like this by dragging the corners. There is another option you can choose the start and end time of this annotation. So it starts at 1 second and I am putting an end at 7 seconds. This is how you use the speech bubble annotation. Alternatively you can drag it from timeline and pull the corners with your mouse to expand and reduce time like this. This way your annotation time and time expands is now 11 second. I will show you how to delete an annotation. Click on the annotation and then go and click on the delete button. This annotation will get deleted. Let's now move to the second type of annotation note. Click the annotation to skip ahead. In this video is a note. You saw this earlier also. Also these headings that you see at the top are also notes. There isn't much difference between speech bubble and note apart from that small little tail that you saw in the speech bubble. Now I'll also show you how to add the notes annotation the way you see it at the top. One I have already done. I am writing the text as heading 1 to start after 20 seconds after anyone clicks on it. I am changing the font color and background. I also need to choose the start and the end time for this annotation. So I wish this to start at 5 seconds and continue till 55 seconds. That's one. Now I need to go back, add the second. Heading 2. This should start the video from 35 seconds. White, background black. Start time 5 seconds, end time 55 seconds. So it has also got added. I am adding the third note. Heading 3. This should start the video from 50 seconds. 5 seconds it should start and continue till 55 seconds. So these three headings have got added. Next thing that I need to do is arrange these at the top. Heading 1, 2, 3 by simple drag and drop. This is my heading 1, I am selecting it. Click on link, put the link of the video here. I have opened this video in another browser. I will go and copy this link, copy and paste it here. Now the next thing that I need to do is put the start time of the video here. So since I wish to start this at 20 seconds, so I am putting 20 here. That's it. 
Now I am clicking on the second heading. Click on this link box. Paste that same video link here. I missed writing heading 2 here. So it's now showing. Now I want this video to start from 35 seconds if anyone clicks on the annotation. So I am putting 35. Now I am going to the third heading. Click here. Link. Paste the video link here. And this should start from 50 seconds. So I am double clicking it and putting 50 here. So what has happened is if anyone clicks on this the video will start from 35 seconds 50 seconds and so on once you are through with these annotations you need to go and publish it let me delete these notes annotation before i move to the third type of annotation okay add annotation go to title write down your title here you can reduce or increase the font size change the font color put a start and end time to the title you can easily move it around wherever you want it on the screen i'll now go and delete this delete now i'll move to the fourth type of annotation which is spotlight this is one of my favorite which i use in almost all my videos i'll tell you why i'll take you to the last of this video i have already added three spotlights in the last of this video which will start at one minute and one second and end at one minute and 14 seconds so if someone clicks on this image he is taken to a url similarly this is also linked similarly the subscribe button is also linked i missed mentioning one thing that if you click on this link and you also need to choose what are you linking to if you are linking to a video choose video if you are linking to a subscribe button choose subscribe let me share with you the last type of annotation which is label let's go a little back select label i am writing hope you are learning annotations well so any user who views your video if he hovers the mouse to the video he'll see this annotation can you see this so that was about last annotation type label i want to share recommendations on where to put annotations in the video it is recommended to have your annotations on the top left or top right of the video screen having them on the middle left or right is also good enough but if you have annotations on the lower side of video screen, it's not recommended. Annotation in center distracts user experience. I also want to share some of the do's and don'ts of annotations. Do use annotations to gain more watch time. Do use them to gain subscribers for your channel. Do use annotations to induce viewers to click on your other videos like shown in this video. Some of the don'ts. Annotations shouldn't be overly invasive. Use them in moderation. Annotations should be contextually relevant, so don't go out of context. Keep your annotations as short as possible so that users can read them at a glance and get back to the video. Worst thing to do is to have too many on your screen and then viewers will never subscribe and they will go away from your video. For more suggested videos, use of annotations refer to the link given in the description below. I hope you enjoyed learning about use of annotations. For more videos on YouTube, Facebook and other social media, subscribe to this channel by clicking on subscribe button in front of your screen. I look forward to your comments below the video. Thanks for watching.